thanks for joining me today. I have a really fun video to share with you today featuring three different ways to use Nuvo Embellishment Mousse. Nuvo Embellishment Mousse, for those of you that are unfamiliar with it, is a really fun uh, paste. It's not the same as texture paste or embossing paste. It's more of a creamier substance and it has a metallic finish to it. So you can see this bright orange color is so beautiful. It has a really pretty metallic sheen. Very, very beautiful, fun to use, and a lot of really great things you can do with this embellishment mousse. I've done a few videos about embellishment mousse and different techniques for using them, but I wanted to focus on three different techniques today that were totally different than anything else I've done before. So our first technique with working with the paste is we're going to create a tone-on-tone -tone background. So much like the techniques of doing tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds with ink blending, same concept. We're going to create this really cool ombre background from orange, uh, pink, orange to yellow. So a really fun way to be able to layer your embellishment mousses with stencils and just doing some plain old blending. You can create really fun and neat results. Our second technique is going to be watercoloring with embellishment mousse. So these irises you see here were watercolored with the embellishment mousse and after they dry, they have a beautiful metallic sheen to them. Hard to see on camera, but I'll show you in the finished photos. I'll try to show you what the metallic sheen looks like and how beautiful this embellishment mousse looks as you watercolor with it. Our final technique is pairing the embellishment mousse with embossing powder to create a really fun sparkly effect on the edges of the mousse pattern that we have here on the stenciled design. This is a neat and tangled stencil design. And I really love how the embossing powder grabs to the edges because it's a little bit thicker, and I'll show you how to do that. But when it grabs to those edges of the stencil design, that allows the embossing powder place to stick, you dry it, and it creates this beautiful finish. So it's a really fun way to be able to use your embellishment mousses with embossing powder to get a whole new look. So I hope that today's video will be helpful for you in learning some new ways to use your embellishment mousses and also find a few fun techniques along the way. So let's get started and create these cards. All right, so I have a selection of the embellishment mousses here. I'm going to be using these colors mainly in today's cards. These are some of the newer colors of embellishment mousse. So we're going to start off by creating that tone-on-tone -tone background like I mentioned earlier. So I'm beginning by blending on some of that pink embellishment mousse onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm blending the colors in a diagonal pattern. I'm not going straight up and down the panel. And I'm overlapping the colors to make sure that they blend evenly. I'm also trying to make sure I get a fairly good coating of these embellishment mousses. You can also layer them by letting them dry and then go back over top and that will give you also a nicer blend as well. I'm going to go ahead and continue blending on the colors, this time bringing in a little bit of that greenish yellow color. I love how that blends with the orange, it looks so cool. And these mousses blend actually quite easily. I'm going to finish up the blending here and then I'll be able to start working on adding the tone on tone effect. I find it easiest to blend with these by using ink blending tools, so the little mini ink blending tools from Tim Holtz and Ranger. Those are my favorite ways to blend with the embellishment mousses. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding on some of the mousse now back over top of the same areas that I had already applied the mousse down in the background. This time though I have the stencil in place and what this is doing is this is creating a darker pattern of those same colors in the areas that we had already applied them down but this time with a stencil. So the stencil is the only areas that's going to have the pattern. Underneath of that is where the rest of the blending was before we layered on the stencil. So you can see it creates a really fun effect to have that ink blending added on top of each other in a layered pattern. So you can really get some neat results with these stencils and the embellishment mousses simply by doing some blending and layering. Okay, so my second technique is to work with water coloring. If you didn't know this by now, embellishment mousses are able to be combined with water. You can use them to make your own shimmer spritzes and other types of fun effects, but I wanted to show you how you can watercolor with them. So I'm using this stamp set here from Altenew. This is an Enchanted Iris stamp set. I've heat embossed a bunch of these images by using some black pigment ink from Simon's Stamp and adding clear embossing powder over top. You don't have to heat emboss them, I just wanted to make sure I had nice crisp black lines. So I'm going to take some of the embellishment mousse, you don't need a lot. I'm going to go ahead and smush this down onto my palette. 
This is going to give me an area to pick up color and start working with the watercoloring. It's very easy to watercolor with these embellishment mousses. You just need to break them down a little bit by adding some water to the embellishment mousse, and then you can just pick it up and use it like watercolors. I'm using a variety of different colors here. So I've got some gold, which I'm going to use as the yellow center areas of the irises. You can also control how dark or light these embellishment mousses apply down onto your paper simply by using less pigment. So here I'm using a very light amount of the pigment, washing it down quite a bit with water. And you can see you get a really beautiful pastel effect. So it's really fun to be able to experiment with these and see what kind of effects you can get simply by changing the amount of water you add to the embellishment mousse, just like watercolors. Here I'm mixing up some teals and greens and using that to add in some shading for the leaves. Again, like with the ink blending, if you want to add additional shading to your images other than what you've got right now, you're going to want to let this dry and then go back over top of it. Here I'm using some water, putting down some water and then dropping some of that pigment into the water and blending it out. It creates a nice soft background for my flowers. And again, once this dries, it creates this gorgeous metallic sheen. I love the effect of watercoloring with these embellishment mousses. All right, so now that I've got my watercoloring done, I want to add some splatters. You can also do this with embellishment mousse simply by mixing up some of that mousse with some water, making sure you get a good amount loaded up on your brush, and then just start flicking away, just like you would with any other types of water mediums that you want to create splatters with. So here's a close-up look at that beautiful coloring we ended up with from the embellishment mousse. I just love how this turned out. And this is so much fun to be able to mix these embellishment mousses with water to create your own shimmery watercolors. All right, so my last technique is going to be by using my stencils and some of the embellishment mousse and creating a heat embossed edge. This is a really cool technique. I want to show you here, I'm applying the paste onto my stencil, which is on top of a piece of green cardstock, but I'm making sure to apply a fairly thick coating of the embellishment mousse because I want it to be collecting on the edges of the stencil. When I take the stencil off, you can see that the pattern is a little bit more dimensional than normal and because the embellishment mousse along the edges of the stencil is a little bit more wet than the centers, that gives the embossing powder an area to stick to. So I'm using some Tonic Studios Shimmering Pearl Embossing Powder. And when this gets heat set into the embellishment mousse, that creates this really cool crystallized crust edge to the embellishment mousse. It turns out really, really cool. And I love the added sheen that it has by mixing that sparkling embossing powder with the super shimmery embellishment mousse. It's a really cool combination and I really think this one turned out so neat. So here's a close-up look at all three techniques that we did today. The tone on tone technique is on the left, the embossing powder with embellishment mousse is in the middle, and then water coloring with the mousse is on the right. You can see there's a variety of different ways you can use this embellishment mousse and I think it's really fun to experiment and see what fun techniques you can create with these products. So to finish off the cards, I used some Pretty Pink Posh products on this card here with a tone on tone background, created a nice little sentiment and added some butterflies that I colored with Copic markers. For the irises, I added a beautiful gold frame by ink blending some of that gold embellishment mousse onto it and layering those pieces up onto my card. And then you can see it creates a very clean and simple design. I also added some Nouveau Jewel Drops to background just to add a little bit more interest. And of course that fun jewel encrusted background with the beautiful embossing powder on top of the embellishment mousse, I used some Neat and Tangle products to finish off this card to create a really cool geometric style design. So I hope that these techniques have inspired you to try out some new ideas with your embellishment mousse and see what kind of fun cards you can come up with. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you again soon and have a great day. Bye.